you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere on the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over all the pre order bonuses, release stats, unveiled stats, all the cards, card art for all the pre order stuff. So, guys, there's the Walmart pre order, there's the GameStop pre order, there's the regular pre order, like the regular game, which is just also there, as well as. The Rookie Master. So I'm going to go over the Rookie Master. Guys, the Rookie Master is a banger. I'm telling you, I'm going to get to that as we get into the video. I'm going to go over the best base elite to choose out of your thing for your free pre-order bonus player. And I'm going to go over the player. So here we go. So first one, this starts with the Walmart pre-order, which is 82 Ray Lewis. Not a bad card for day one. What really stands out here, guys, is going to be the 80 speed and the 82 excel. Considering it's Ray Lewis, who doesn't always get the best speed, and it's a day one free card, 80 speed is not as bad as you guys may officially. Like, on first glance, 80 speed is not great. That's what Jalen Smith has as a base elite. Uh, Ray Lewis is just a pre-order bonus card. You guys, I'm telling you, a backup linebacker with an 80 speed to start the year with a decent block shed and decent hit power. Now, the card's not great by any means, but as a backup player for day one, just to get your solos done and maybe even play some seasons, really not bad at all. It's Ray Lewis is decent. Again, this is with the, um, the Walmart pre-order. So if you guys want any of these cards, make sure to pre-order through Walmart, although I know people most don't really like the disc. Shannon Sharp. Tight end for the Ravens. I'm doing these in a row because the Walmart's the, the Ravens package here. 79 speed. Honestly, that's going to kind of kill this card. Although Zach Ertz and uh, Zach Ertz, Kelsey, and Kittle are all in the same range, surprisingly. But 83 Excel, 77 agility, 79 jumping. Catching's decent. 80 catching, 81 catching traffic, 77 spec, 81 short running. Um, if you could run block, it'd be a little bit better, but he cannot. Decent carrying, decent stiff arm. You don't have to pick, though. You get all of them, I believe, so... Will help fill out your roster overall wise, so not horrible. Will I be would, would I pre-order the Walmart one just for these cards? Probably not, but if you're a no money spent guy, maybe because you need all you can get. Ed Reed. Oh, okay. Ed Reed's pretty good. I take this back. This Walmart one's got a lot better. Ed Reed, 92, 82 overall, 84 speed, 84 excel, 84 agility, 80 play rec, 82 jumping. That alone is solid. 80 zone coverage, 75 hit. Guys, Ed Reed's a banger, guys. Not gonna lie. Ed Reed is super good for 82 overall. He is up there with some of the better safety that actually got released as a base elite. Looks better than Earl Thomas to me. Faster, still good zone, and better hit power. And I believe he is a... Oh, they're about the same height. Uh, Ed Reed, really good. Ray Lewis, decent. Shannon Sharp, kind of ass. But again, if you get all three of them, who really cares? Moving on to the Xbox regular console pre-order stuff. Lamar Jackson, 86 overall, guys. Super hyped about this. He is powered up. He's, he's able to be powered up because a lot of you guys were asking. Which is super great, considering the fact that, let's see, probably the best Madden quarterback for free, can be powered up. Yeah, I can see why uh, this is a good idea. Now, will he get Escape Artist Day 1? Not entirely sure just yet if he will get the Escape Artist nod. Would I like to see him with Escape Artist? I don't know, because if he gets Escape Artist, I'd be happy, but so will everyone else who gets Escape Artist. Now, on the contrary, if he doesn't get Escape Artist, a lot of people won't be happy, but I want to verse Escape Artist the whole game. It really depends. I think if they give us Escape Artist, that means they probably nerfed it a bit in terms of why would they give us the most overpowered ability day one. Then again, there's ability points this year, so maybe that's the point that you're going to have to waste on Lamar. I don't really know. Let's get into his stats. 88 speed. You power him up. He has an 89 speed. He's going to break the game. 88 Excel. Again, 89 Excel powered up. 86 agility. Super solid. 82 jumping. 85 throw power is all you need because when you're gonna play with Lamar you're gonna play with him like kind of like real life You're not gonna be a pass heavy. You're gonna be Running the ball Taking your scrambles passing when you need to so if you're not if you're not the only reason you need like a higher throw power in My opinion is when you're just passing all game and you're gonna be fitting in windows when people start getting a bit tighter on coverage With Lamar 85 throw power is perfect 84 short accuracy is perfect 76 medium accuracy is a little bit low not gonna lie. I wish that was a bit higher 78 deep accuracy, 86 throw on the run, super solid, 80 play action, super solid, throw under pressure, 84 is great, and break sack, 87, guys. Lamar's going to be a complete dual threat quarterback, going to be able to run all over you. 89 speed, guys, by the way, day one, that's four speed higher than, like, most running backs in the game. That's actually, like, five or six speed higher if you're not counting Derrick Henry McCaffrey. He's going to be able to run all over defenses, especially if you versus a team, because not everyone's going to have a great defense day one. They're going to have, like, 83 speed all over the field. Lamar's going to be annoying, so I'm kind of happy that we get him. Next, we got Tony Romo, who is part of the GameStop Pruder Edition. Let's see how his stats stack up. So, can't run, of course. So, we're not going to look at that. But he has an 85 throw power, which, again, 
here's the thing 85 throw power is fine with Lamar because you're gonna be running a lot and people are gonna be so they're gonna QB spying you and everything but with Romo you're a pass only so I would hope that throw power would be better 83 short 82 mid and 85 deep decent throw power no decent throw stats not gonna lie they're, they're okay 84 throw on the run 80 play action 82 throw under pressure and an 85 break sack he is an improviser though which is kind of weird which means if he gets like a 99 overall and he gets like an 81 speed he could probably get to a um skate artist qb but that'll probably take a while so uh tony Romo's decent at his game stuff rewards so remember we got ray lewis shannon sharp and ed reed that is the walmart reward we got lamar that's the just regular madden style reward for pro in the game tony Romo is the game stop reward guys and now we got isaiah simmons who is the rookie master now isaiah simmons if you guys know was drafted by the cardinals in the first round this year he can play many positions he can play linebacker safety i think even outside linebacker and so super versatile madden put him at strong safety now People were wondering why, in my opinion, I don't know if it was really based on a personnel decision or like they, they that's what they think they, he plays. I think it's more based on the game of Madden. And if they put him at, if they put this man at linebacker with a 90 speed, they're ruining their own game. If you give me a user linebacker with 90 speed day one, people are going to be, people are going to be upset. I'm really good with the user. People are, other people in Madden are way better than me at using. So just imagine the things you could do with Isaiah Simmons is very crazy. Now they put him at safety, which is kind of good though, because Usually when Tyreek Hill first comes out, he's got 90 speed, untouchable, Un the fastest guy on the field by, by a margin. He's going to outrun everyone. I played the beta. He outruns everyone. Isaiah Simmons is going to be the same speed and we'll be able to keep up with him. Kind of crazy that out of all the players in the game, they gave Isaiah Simmons one of the fastest speeds. Um, yes, he's fast, but I've never really seen them give a rookie master. I never really seen cards other than Tyreek Hill ever even come close or hit 90 day one, which is kind of weird. Uh, we got 90 Excel, 87 Agility. 90 jumping, 82 awareness, 82 play rec, 78 man, 80 zone, 71 press, 85 pursuit, 88 hit power, guys. So he's gonna, he has like, if Cam Chancellor was fast, this is the card you're pretty much getting, and I love it. He's gonna be able to lay the boom, chase down anyone on the field. He's gonna be faster than everyone on the field, guys. Even Tyreek Hill is gonna be the same speed, unless you haven't powered up. This is crazy. This, this Isaiah Simmons card is probably the best card in Madden already to start the year, which is kind of crazy. Crazy Excel, great agility, great jumping. And he's six foot four, guys. If you don't understand, this is like Calvin Johnson free safety in comparison. He's gonna be great. Put him anywhere. Run him in a big, guys. Run a big nickel scheme. Put him down in the big nickel linebacker spot and user him. And I promise you, he's going to be absolutely crazy. I cannot say much more about how crazy this Isaiah Simmons card is. Big nickel, guys. Remember that big nickel. Put him in the box. User him. You can have a 90 speed. You're gonna have an 88 hit power. You're gonna have a six foot four, guys. He's going to be crazy. But. That's about it for that, guys. Now let's head over to the best um, 82 to take. So, guys, we got plenty. We got Wagner, who too slow in my opinion. Harrison Smith, too slow in my opinion. Stephon Gilmore is decent, but I probably wouldn't take him. We got Chandler Jones. He's a pretty good pass rusher. We're an outside linebacker. We got Mike Evans, which I wouldn't take. Aaron Donald, which I think this car just looks really bad. Monte Adams is too slow. Von Miller, just not good enough at anything there. Cameron Hayward, too slow. JJ Watts, decent, but too slow. Rodney Hudson, guys. In my opinion, I think maybe taking a lineman in these spots might be the best thing, or a backup defensive tackle. So, Rodney Hudson's not bad. Byron Jones with an 84 speed isn't horrible, but his coverage kind of sucks. Grady Jarrett, again, good defensive tackle just to take. Uh, when you look at these guys, you want to go with a position that you're not going to replace quickly, because if you replace them quickly, you kind of wasted it. I recommend you take a position you don't plan to buy for quite a while. And then if you got to get rid of him, you could always just put him into an exchange set or toss him in somewhere. Like Brandon Scherf, he's kind of ass. Brandon Linder is a good center, guys. If you don't want to buy a center, 80s almost across the board. So I got to plug in. Le'Veon Bell's way too slow. Derrick Henry's decent. Zeke's decent. Ronnie Stanley, decent left tackle. Joey Bosa, good finesse move on Bosa, though, guys. Not going to lie, it's not bad. Saquon Barkley. Saquon's at an 84 speed, which is the same speed as his 84. So if you want to budget Saquon right there, Quentin Nelson's actually not good at all there. Pat, Pat Mahomes, McCaffrey. Khalil Mack is decent. And Micah Hyde. So, guys, my consensus here for these cards, you're going to want to be taking Khalil Max decent. I would take either a pass rusher in this spot or a lineman. I mean, I'd probably lean towards lineman. I'd take a nice left tackle, Ronnie Stanley, 80s across the board, some higher than 80s, some a little bit lower. Put him at left tackle, keep him there, work on your defense, and you have a line to protect you. Because a line's probably the last thing you upgrade when you first play the game. I like to upgrade it early on, but we all know we're not going to because they always cost so much because there's only a few of them. You can't afford the big ones. So get yourself some free linemen. They'll hold up. They'll do They'll do the job. 
So like you get a uh, you get a Mike Evans here, he's gonna feel ass, gonna be too slow, not gonna catch things, and you're gonna be like, why to take him? You get a Ronnie Stanley, you're gonna noticeably notice that your left tackle from bronze to Stanley is gonna look different. While wide receiver, all you really need is some speed there. But guys, better for the video. Hope you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the new bell, boys. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get another 100 likes, guys, on this video? Let's start getting all the videos to 100 likes. That helps a ton, guys. All right, all the loyals, comment down below. Guys, I want to start going. I want to start doing this as much as possible. If you guys are lower subscribers, I want you guys to comment from Poodle Squad under every video. Love to see where you guys are. It's kind of like being a member without being a member to the channel. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. Give this video a big thumbs up. And maybe going to the season, I might start shouting out the Poodle Squad in video as well. So start getting it up now. If I see the numbers going up, I'll definitely start implementing that. I love to see where the loyals are at here and all the guys that pop into every video. Because I know there's a lot of you guys. I recognize a lot of names at this point. But that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.